Hi, welcome back to Pragmatic Agility. In this lesson, we're going to install dBeaver on Ubuntu. dBeaver is an excellent SQL IDE, and it works with multiple database engines such as MySQL, Microsoft SQL, DB2, as well as a lot of others. So let's go ahead and get started. To get dBeaver installed on Ubuntu, the best way to do that is to actually add the repository so that dBeaver will update when you do the apt get update commands uh, and such. And to do that, you need to go to this URL, the HTTPS dbeaver.io slash download slash. So if we scroll down this page, down to the bottom, we will see the Ubuntu PPA, and that's the one that we want. So we need to open a terminal. Terminal. And I'm going to switch to the sudo user. So I don't have to put sudo on all my commands. Now I'm the uh, root user. And I am just going to copy and paste so that I cannot make a mistake here. So copy, paste. All right, enter. And this will take just a moment. Now we need to run the app to get update command. And now we just need to app get install. Install the beaver. That's the oops, did I spell something? Yep, I spelled beaver wrong. Okay, buy for yes. And I'll go ahead and fast forward to the end of this installation. Okay, dBeaver has finished installing. Let's go ahead and start it up and make sure that it's uh, working correctly. There's a couple different ways you could start it up. You could just type dBeaver with an ampersand like that. That should start it. And we can see if we have it available in the program search as well. dBeaver. And we do. Now I know if I click that, it will start, but I'm going to go ahead and do the ampersand, ampersand way. The beaver. <clears throat> there we go. So it looks like it's starting up. That is good. I'm going to go ahead and connect to a local MySQL server I installed recently just to confirm that the uh, program is working correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and just close that for now. You want to create no sample databases. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to create a new co new connection and MySQL 8, that's the MySQL version I'm running. Hit next. Localhost, that's all correct. So let me type in my password. And test connection. Now the first time you uh, use a connection in dBeaver, we'll have to install the driver. Okay. Well, if you get this error, it appears that we can use a different driver for MySQL. So let's cancel this. Right click, create connection. And let's see if we can just find MySQL with no version number. MySQL, so this one, next. And password test connection, download, success, okay, finish, and it looks like I have successfully connected to my local instance. Let me go ahead and do a quick test, create new database, test, okay, yep, it appears to be working. All right, I'm confident that dBeaver is installed and working against my local MySQL installation. I hope you were able to follow along and get that working as well. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please give it a like or subscribe. Thanks for your time.